Attention all citizens, this is an emergency alert system warning. Please do not change the channel and listen carefully, as this may directly affect the safety of you and your family and everybody you care for. An alarming situation has been reported from obstetrics and gynecology clinics across the country. We have received many reports of females from different age groups mysteriously getting pregnant or finding themselves forced into intimate relationships with unknown individuals. What's even more concerning is that they don't remember any details related to when or how it happened. All of the victims have passed drug tests and don't suffer from any mental illnesses, which makes their claims very credible. Moreover, they don't know each other, they're from different states, and they're from different age groups. This strange and mysterious sudden pregnancy is baffling the authorities and causing fear and concern among females across the country. People are starting to speculate about what could be causing these auto pregnancies. Some claim that a non-physical entity is to blame, while others believe that a newly discovered mutation or disease is affecting women and girls. The public has even given these mysterious incidents a name, the Mary Cases. Unfortunately, these cases have become even more terrifying. Many victims have suddenly found themselves naked and in very humiliating and embarrassing poses in public places like supermarkets, banks, and even subway stations. This strongly suggests that some sort of psychotic and sadistic criminal is behind these strange events. Authorities have been working hard to investigate these cases, but they have not been able to find any concrete evidence or witnesses. Even after reviewing security footage from different locations, the cases became more puzzling and horrifying. It seemed like a jump cut shot from a pre-recorded video clip, with victims suddenly becoming undressed on their own without anybody approaching them. Others suddenly lied down on the floor on their backs naked. As a responsible members of society, it's essential that you remain vigilant and report any suspicious activity to the authorities. Women and girls, in particular, should take extra precautions and be aware of their surroundings at all times. The authorities are taking more advanced and strict measures to find out who or what is behind these baffling and mysterious crimes. They are conducting interviews with victims, reviewing surveillance footage, and working with medical professionals to determine if there is any underlying medical condition or disease that could be causing these strange incidents. We will keep you updated with any new information as it becomes available. Good evening, I'm Peter Montano, and we have breaking news related to the mysterious auto pregnancies also known as the Mary cases. A team of experts has conducted an analysis and revealed surprising information. A human being is responsible, and all of the incidents were carried out by only one person. DNA results have confirmed that all victims were abused by the same unknown criminal. However, how the perpetrator was able to carry out these acts in public places without being detected, even by security cameras, is still under investigation. Authorities are reporting that although this is a small step, it is an important one as it indicates that the culprit is a human being, ruling out the possibility of non-physical beings or strange mutations. As expected, this revelation may raise more questions, such as who the perpetrator is, how they were able to evade detection, and where they are currently hiding. The authorities have stated that these questions and more will be answered soon. Hello? Hey man, how you doing? Yeah, watched it. Well, I don't believe in that DNA stuff. They're probably lying as usual. How is that guy able to do all of that in so many states, so quickly, in public places without being detected? Moreover, I heard, that the DNA couldn't be matched to any of the FBI's national DNA databases. I'll tell you something. They have no idea what they're facing. They're as scared and confused as we are. Maybe it's a new virus, mutation, 
or even an alien. I don't know. The only thing I'm sure of is whoever or whatever is doing this is evil, psychotic, and sadistic. Yeah, you're right. Okay, take care. Bye. Good evening. Breaking news has just come in regarding the Mary cases. An eyewitness who has chosen to remain anonymous for security reasons has provided authorities with crucial information on the suspected criminal behind these heinous crimes. We have obtained a recording of the eyewitness's testimony, which sheds new light on the case. I was lying in bed at around 10.30 p.m., making a phone call, when suddenly I saw something appear in front of me out of nowhere. As a graphic designer, the closest thing I can compare it to is an object with zero opacity that rapidly increases to 100. It was a man who appeared to be about six feet tall and was wearing what looked like a football helmet with a black visor that concealed his face. He had on a bluish silver suit that reminded me of what race car drivers or astronauts wear. At first he seemed shocked and confused that I could see him and was aware of his presence. He kept checking a small device on his wrist, like a bulky watch and seemed to be clicking something on it rapidly. I felt extremely frightened and started screaming loudly, which seemed to startle him. The man then jumped out of the window, breaking the glass, and vanished without a trace. I'm still shaken up from the experience, and I can't believe what happened. It was truly the most terrifying experience of my life. Forensic artists created rough sketches based on the eyewitness account. She selected two sketches that she believed were the closest resemblance to the criminal. Law enforcement officials have launched a manhunt for the suspect and are urging anyone with information to come forward. We will continue to monitor this developing story and provide updates as they become available. Stay tuned for further information on this ongoing investigation. 